Yo, it's me, Dead Carpet, and this is Dead Carpet Energy Drink Reviews, and it's 11 a.m., and it's Saturday, February 19th, 2022. Today I'm wearing my new shirt. It says Next Level on it, so aw oh, yeah, boys, aw oh, yeah, aw oh, yeah, aw oh, yeah. Anyway, today I'm going to be reviewing another flavor of the brand new Rockstar Unplugged Energy Drinks. I got it at um, the Walmart Supercenter, it was $1.50, so it's okay priced, but um, anyway, this one sounds like it might be pretty good, we shall see. Anyway, today I'm going to be reviewing the new Passion Fruit. Rockstar Unplugged Energy Drink. So, oh yeah, boys, oh yeah, look at that can. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. And we have Silver Top with a black Rockstar tab. That's their new tab with just the star in it instead of the R and the R, you know? Um, so that's interesting. And the bomb's a Best Buy date and production code. Best Buy May 30th, 2022, so it's still fresh for a while. Here's the can. My dogs are outside, so hopefully they'll be quiet while I make this video. Um, but yeah, that's a cool cam, it has like some yellow and purple, like, um, jelly stuff, I guess, or like slime going around the Rockstar logo, looks pretty cool, now the top, it goes from like purple to, well, like a dark purple to like a lighter purple, um, so it's like a gradient, cool looking can, I like the colors of it and stuff, um, very cool looking can, but um, anyway, Around the top it says Herbal Blend, Zero Sugar Hemp Seed. It has hemp seed oil in it, so that's interesting. Rockstar Unplugged. Scan to turn up your mood. It has a QR code. It probably takes you to their website. It has a Rockstar logo, Passion Fruit. They're with other natural flavors. Sugar-free energy drink, zero calories per can, 12 fluid ounces, 355 milliliters. Um, so it has some other codes. The Ball logo, please recycle, the SKU. And manufactured for Rockstar, purchased in New York, 10577, copyright 2021, rockstarenergy.com. Not recommended for children, pregnant, nursing women, or people sensitive to caffeine. Hemp seed oil does not naturally contain THC. Instagram logo at Rockstar Energy. It has some colored um, circles. Smart label QR code. You can scan it to learn more about like nutrition facts and stuff. Scan for info. Call for info. The phone number is 1-800-433-2652. Um, contains 0% juice. Attrition fact serving says 1 can amount per serving calories 0. Total fat 0 grams 0%, 755 milligrams 2%. Fuck carbohydrate 0 grams 0%, total sugar 0 grams, includes 0 grams added sugar 0%, protein 0 grams. Potassium 10 milligrams 0%, niacin 16 milligrams 100%. Vitamin B6 1.53 milligrams 90%, panathenic acid 4 milligrams 80%. Then it has other ingredients, carbonated water, natural flavor, citric acid, sodium benzoate. Caffeine, gum, arabic, sucralose, azelfame, potassium, hemp seed oil. So, oh yeah, boys, oh yeah, oh yeah, yellow five. So, it might be yellow. Um, has a niacin, calcium, disodium, EDTA, calcium pantothenate, sucrose, acetate, isobutyrate. Um, that's the first time I've seen that ingredient. One's in, like, these Rockstar Unplugged Energy Drinks. That's interesting. Um, pyridoxine hydrochloride, which is the vitamin B6, lemon balm leaf extract. So that's interesting. And it has yellow number six, so yeah, it's probably gonna be yellow as yellow five and yellow six. Um, but it's interesting that yellow six is way down there and yellow five was like way up there, so I don't know. And it has spearmint oil, so oh yeah, boys, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Um, but the last one I reviewed, um, it had the spearmint oil in it, but you couldn't really taste spearmint, so you're probably not gonna be able to taste the spearmint in this. We shall see though. Caffeine content 80 milligrams for 12 foot ounces, we're here to help. Phone number is 800 433 2652, no calories. Um, so yeah, it has 80 milligrams of caffeine in the entire can. So, oh yeah, boys, it will get you lit. It will get you lit, you know, just saying. So, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. It's not as strong as, like, a lot of the recently released energy drinks over the last few years, though. Um, the ones that have, like, 240 milligrams and 300 milligrams, you know. So this one probably won't mess with your anxiety as much. I didn't really mess with my anxiety too much yesterday, the one I drank, so that was good. Uh, probably caused the hemp seed oil, too. Um... Um, I don't know if it has CBD in it or though or not, but um, some CBD stuff I had before said it had hemp seed oil. Um, just in the ingredients, not just like CBD, you know. It doesn't have any. Um, well, it doesn't say it has any CBD in it, so I'm not for sure if it has any or not. You'll probably just see on their website or something. Um, but yeah. Anyway, I forgot to do the thumbnail, so I guess I'll do that right quick. So, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Anyway, I'll let you see the can right quick. I already showed you the top and the bottom, but um, anyway.
My dogs are on the porch fighting, so I have to get them inside in a minute and finish this video. I'll show it off right quick like this. Then I'll show off the can up close um, later after I finish the drink, you know. Um, but I'll show it in this video in a minute. So it'll be like time travel, you know. So you know what I mean, but I'm anyway. Here's nutrition packs. The other ingredients and stuff. Okay, that's pretty much the entire can. So anyway, I'm gonna I'll show it off up close right quick. So hold on a minute. Okay, here is the Passion Fruit Rockstar Unplugged. It has a really cool can design, like the colors of it and stuff. Um, but yeah, this can, this can's actually pretty cool, see what I mean? It's a little bit reflective, so I'm sorry about that. The other ingredients and stuff. That's a cool Rockstar tab, it's different than the old ones. So, yeah. Okay, I showed it off, um, but um, now anyway, I'm going to shake it up a little bit, open it, taste it, and get my review for it, so hold on a minute. Okay, I opened it, and yep, the color is a very yellow, like a dark yellow, um, looks similar to like the Ultra Peachy Keen, um, monster, but um, except it may be like a darker, more murky, golden yellow, you know what it looks like, boys, you know what it looks like. So yeah, but um, yeah, it's definitely very carbonated, definitely bubbly. So yeah, actually, looks pretty fresh, you know, just saying, but um, anyway, the smell. Oh yeah, boys, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, well, 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 well. Um, I thought it would be like similar to like the original NOS, because NOS is like passion fruit, or like the yellow edition Red Bull, you know, but um, this has more like a original Rockstar scent, but, um, it's definitely more of a tropical scent, though. So, mm hmm. This might be like if you had, like, original Rockstar, but mixed it with a little bit of, like, NOS. Um, it smells a little bit like that, but more of, like, a fresher type of scent, though. Definitely smells, um, like a clean scent. Don't really know how to describe this, but, um, um, maybe a little bit syrupy smelling, but, um, yeah, it's like a fresher, crisper, um, a little bit more of a tropical, original Rockstar type of scent, see what I mean? Um, so yeah, if you had original Rockstar, maybe, yeah, definitely mix it with, like, original Nos or, like, yellow Red Bull or something. Um, that's what this would smell like. But I'd give it more of, a, like, a fresher scent, I guess, or a more floral type of scent. Definitely smells very interesting, though. Um, I haven't really smelled, like, an energy drink like this before. It's like a mixture of, like, different drinks, um, scent-wise. So yeah, it definitely smells pretty good though, but I'm um, anyway now I'm gonna try it, so here goes. <clears throat> oh yeah, boys. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, well, well. Um it might smell better than it tastes, um, a little bit. Still tastes similar to how it smells, definitely like um original Rockstar mixed with like a NOS a little bit. Definitely like a, a Guarana um, passion fruit type of taste. Yeah, it has that original like energy drink type of flavor, you know? Mm. Yeah, but definitely more tropical. Ooh, had a weird aftertaste. Um, I don't know if it's because I ate that rice and chicken like Chef Boyardee, or Boyardee earlier, you know? Um, but when I just burped a while ago, I just got the flavor of, like, that chickeny type of flavor. So that was interesting. Um, but yeah, it's the chicken flavor mixed in with the tropical flavor, so. I don't know. It tastes a little bit weird, but, um. 
you know, that, yeah, that just might be because I had that Chef Boyardee earlier before I took my shower, but, um, yeah, but the flavor. Well, might does, um, have like a, um, seasony type of flavor. Um, yeah, it does say it's a herbal blend, but, um, I didn't really taste the herbal blend in the last one I reviewed, the blueberry one. Um, it's because of the spearmint oil and the lemon balm extract, but, um, yeah, I think it does have a little bit of like a, um, sort of like a chicken seasoning type of flavor. Um, maybe a teeny bit though, see what I mean? Yep, yeah, it's like a earthy um, passion fruit. Um, then when I was smelling it, I thought it would be more like a artificial, like candy syrupy type of passion fruit. But um, yeah, tasting it though, it's definitely more of like a natural earthy passion fruit. So it tastes a little bit weird, you know. Just saying. Um, but yeah, you can definitely tell this one's zero sugar. You can't really taste. Um, you can't really tell the blueberry one was zero sugar. That one was like really sweet, but um. This one, yeah, it's more of the aftertaste a little bit dry, but, um, so, yeah, you do get that zero sugar taste, but also that little bit of a dry feeling, too, though. Um, not really a dry feeling, but, like, a dry type of flavor, you know, I guess. Yeah, the smell's definitely sweeter than the taste, you know what I mean? <clears throat> um, but, yeah, I don't think it's because I ate that Chef Boyardee chicken and rice earlier. I think it's just how this tastes, actually. So that's interesting. <sighs> yeah, um, the blueberry one's way better than this one. This one definitely has an earthy, stronger, um, herbally, passion fruit type of flavor, see what I mean? Um, but yeah, it does have a little bit of an original rock star type of flavor in there too, though, see what I mean? This is like a mixture of like original rock star and passion fruit, but yeah, definitely a stronger, earthier passion fruit, so... It's not really that good, you know? I um, definitely like the original NOS better than this and the Yellow Edition Red Bull. Like those types of passion fruits better than this. <clears throat> um, but I guess it's okay for a zero sugar drink. <clears throat> um, but yeah, it could be way sweeter though. The blueberry one's like definitely way, way better than this one. <laughs> um, but yeah, it has a cool can design though. I like the colors of it and stuff. Energy wise, it has 80 milligrams caffeine. But still high a little bit in the B vitamins. So that's the energy wise. It lasts about two and a half hours, about three and a half hours of energy. So, oh yeah, boys, it will get you lit. It will get you lit. You know, just saying. So, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Um, yeah, it was pretty cheap too. It was $1.50 at Walmart. And I got it in like one of the coolers towards the front of the store. Um, But yeah, the flavor of this one tastes weird to me. Um, not really that good. Definitely way prefer the blueberry one over this one. So, yeah, the blueberry one's definitely a 10 out of 10. But this one. Definitely not a 10 out of 10, you know, just saying. This one's definitely a strong, herbally, like, earthy um, type of flavor, you know. Still tropical and passion fruity, but, um, yeah, not that good, though, so you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I'd probably give the passion fruit Rockstar Unplugged energy drink. I don't think it's as bad as, like, a 6 or a 7, but yeah, it's definitely not a 9 or a 10, so... I think I'm gonna give this one an 8 out of 10. So, oh yeah, boys, it's still a little lit. So, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10. Um, energy wise, it works pretty good. It has a cool can design. I like the colors of it and stuff. It's okay price. is actually pretty cheap. Um, but yeah, the flavor though, um, definitely, definitely weird though. Definitely very strong and earthy and yeah, not a good sweet passion fruit. So yeah, it could be definitely way better. Um, the blueberry one's definitely way sweeter than this one. Even though that one was zero sugar too, see so you know what I mean? I'm definitely way prefer the blueberry one over this one. But yeah, it's not like the worst energy drink I've had before, but um, yeah, there's way better energy drinks than this one though, see so you know what I mean? So yeah, I'm gonna give it an eight out of ten. So oh yeah, boys, it's still a little lit. So oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm gonna give it an eight out of ten. Oh yeah, I don't know what my next review will be. Um, there's another one of these Rockstar Unplugs. It's a red one. I think it's like an hibiscus one, uh, like hibiscus um dragon fruit or something like that. But um. Yeah, it's in a red can, though, um, instead of, like, purple and blue, you know, see what I mean? Um, but they didn't have that one at my Walmart, where there's, like, space for it, I guess, in the cooler. Because on the top row, they had, um, what well, wasn't the top row, I think it was, like, the second or third row, but, um, they had this one on the left side, and then on the right side, which was sort of, would be, like, the middle, I guess, would be the blue one. 
and then the right side um, was like empty space so that would probably be where the red one was but um, I guess I didn't have it yet so once my Walmart gets it I'll try to get it you know and review it but I'm going to Tulsa on Tuesday for my doctor's appointment I'm not like a quick trip then and hopefully I'll find it so we shall see but I'm um, anyway yes yeah, so see you more reviews more videos since you're watching see you guys later peace out and bye yeah I said in my review that I gave an 8 out of 10 while I, was, while I was finishing drinking it, I actually started liking it a little bit more. Um, especially if you drink it quickly. Don't drink it, like, slow, you know. But um, when I drink it quickly, though, um, I think I probably would have gave it more of a 9 out of 10. But um, I still think I'm probably going to get an 8 out of 10, though. See so what I mean? So, yes, yeah, there are more reviews, more videos. Just watching. See you guys later. Peace out. And bye.